The Mona Lisa is probably the most recognized and celebrated work of art in all of history. It has been described as the best known, the most visited, the most written about, the most sung about, and the most parodied work of art in the world. But what makes this painting so special and captivating? And what is the secret illusion that Leonardo da Vinci used to create it? To answer these questions, we'll have to go back to the time when Leonardo da Vinci was living and working in Florence, Italy. He was an absolute genius of the Renaissance, a master of painting, sculpture, engineering, anatomy, and many other fields. He was also a keen observer of nature and human psychology. He wanted to capture the essence of life and emotion into his art, and he experimented with various techniques and materials to achieve his artistic goals. One of his most ambitious projects was to paint a portrait of Lisa Garantini, the wife of a wealthy silk merchant named Francesco del Giocondo. Leonardo was commissioned by Francesco to paint his wife's portrait in 1503 for their new home and to celebrate the birth of their second son, Andrea. Da Vinci worked in this artwork for several years, possibly until 1517. However, he never gave the painting to Francesco and instead kept it with him until his death in 1519. He left it to his favorite apprentice who later sold it to the current king of that time of France. The painting has been in France ever since and is now displayed at the Louvre Museum in Paris. The title of the painting, through traditionally spelled Mona in English, is spelled in Italian as Mona Lisa. Mona in Italian is a polite form of address originating as Madonna, similar to ma'am, madam, or my lady in English. Looking at the photos of the artwork online, we're led to believe that the Mona Lisa is a massive piece. We're sorry to disappoint you, but that is not the case. It is actually only 77 by 53 centimeters. The size is something you would normally hang in your living room that's large enough to fill some empty space on a wall, but small enough to not be distracting. It's kind of hard not to be underwhelmed. However, it's only when you focus on the details and the illusions present in the painting that it becomes more intriguing and more of a masterpiece. The painting is a half-length portrait of a woman sitting in front of a distant landscape. She is wearing a simple dress and a veil, and she has no jewelry or accessories. Her hands are folded on her lap and her expression is calm and serene. If you look at the painting more closely, you'll notice that she does not have eyelashes or eyebrows. However, that was not always the case. The lady did indeed have eyebrows. Well, once upon a time, they might have disappeared either because of a botched attempt to clean the painting or because the paint's oil and pigment just simply faded over time. After all, the painting is more than 500 years old. Well, whatever the case is, there is something mysterious and intriguing about the face of Mona Lisa. She seems to be smiling slightly, but not quite. Her eyes seem to follow you wherever you go, but not really. She looks at you, but also beyond you. She seems to be mocking you as if she knows something that you do not. In a way, she could be whatever you want her to be. To state it simply, there's a lot going inside this painting. This is the secret illusion that Leonardo da Vinci created with his genius and skill. He used several techniques to achieve this effect, such as the three-quarter view. Leonardo broke from the traditional profile pose that was common in Italian portrait painting at the time. He positioned the sitter slightly turned towards the viewer, creating a more dynamic and interactive composition. This also allowed him to show more of her facial features and expressions. A lot of people also argue that the Mona Lisa appears to be smiling in the painting due to an optical illusion. According to Margaret Livingstone, Da Vinci painted Mona Lisa's smile using the shadows that we see best in our peripheral vision. This is the reason why we have to look her in the eyes or somewhere else in the painting to see her smile. So her lips are in the peripheral camp of vision. As the viewer's eyes wander elsewhere to examine other features, however, the mouth appears to take an upwards turn, creating a smile that can only be seen as indirectly. Da Vinci created this masterful illusion with the help of a technique known as the sumato. The sumato. Leonardo used a technique in the painting called sumato, which means smoky in Italian. He applied thin layers of oil paint and blended them together to create a soft transition between light and shadow. He also blurred the edges of the forms and details, creating a hazy and atmospheric effect. This technique gave the painting a sense of depth and realism, while also shrouding with a sense of ambiguity at the same time. The Perspective 
Leonardo da Vinci used linear perspective and aerial perspective to create a realistic illusion of space and distance in the Mona Lisa. Linear perspective is a technique that uses parallel lines that converge at a vanishing point to create the illusion of death. In the Mona Lisa, the landscape behind the sitter is painted with diminishing scale and detail, making it appear farther away than it actually is. The mountains in the background are smaller and more muted than the trees in the foreground, an interesting detail for sure. On the other hand, aerial perspective is a technique that uses the effects of light and atmosphere to add more intrigue in the painting. In the Mona Lisa, the mountains in the background are hazy and less distant than the trees in the foreground. This is because the light from the sun has to travel through more atmosphere to reach the mountains, which causes the colors to become more muted and the details to become less distinct. Da Vinci also used a technique called foreshortening to create the illusion that the sitter is closer to the viewer than she actually is, and this is the reason that the sitter's face appears to be larger and closer to the viewer. The combination of linear perspective, aerial perspective, and foreshortening creates a realistic illusion of space and distance in the Mona Lisa, making it more lifelike and engaging. In addition to that, da Vinci used his knowledge of human anatomy to create a realistic depiction of the woman's face. He paid close attention to the muscles and tendons on her face. He then used the same knowledge to create a smile that is both subtle and enigmatic. The Lighting Furthermore, Leonardo used natural light to illuminate the sitter's face from above and from the left side. He painted subtle variations of color and tone to create a realistic impression of skin texture and complexion. He also painted highlights and shadows on her eyes and lips to enhance their shape and expression. By using these techniques, Leonardo da Vinci created a portrait that is both realistic and idealized, both human and divine. He captured the personality and mood of Lisa, but he also transcended her individuality and made her a symbol of beauty and grace. He created a painting that is not just a representation of reality, but a reflection of his own vision. The Mona Lisa has influenced countless artists and admirers throughout history. It has inspired many copies, variations, interpretations, and tributes from all over the world. That's not all though, it has also been the subject of many theories, mysteries, and even conspiracies. Some people have claimed the painting contains hidden messages or codes that reveal secrets about Leonardo's life or beliefs. Some people have actually argued that the painting is not actually Lisa, but someone else or even Leonardo himself. Over the course of history, many people have even tried to steal or damage the painting out of greed or just the sake of vandalism. But despite all these attempts to explain or exploit the Mona Lisa, the painting remains elusive. It still fascinates us with its charm and mystery. It still challenges us with its complexity, and it still invites us to look closer and deeper into its secrets. The Mona Lisa is not just a painting, it's an enigma created by Leonardo da Vinci, and it's an illusion that we can never fully understand or unravel. But maybe that is the point, maybe Leonardo wanted us to experience the wonder and mystery of his art, and not to take it for granted or to reduce it to a simple explanation. Maybe he wanted us to see beyond the surface and to appreciate the beauty and the mystery of life itself. If you are ever lucky enough to see the Mona Lisa in person, be sure to take your time and really look at it. It is a small painting, but it is full of details and illusions that will reward close inspection and attention to all its beautiful details. Click on any of the two videos on the screen right now for more content.